Uh, you know, I can't wait. I'm really excited. Uh, I think we have a great team. I think we have a lot of talent. And I think, uh, you know, just I feel like we have the same team as last year, basically, just a lot older. And uh, uh, all the new guys we got coming in look very promising. So, uh, you know, I think I'm, I'm ready to go. I've been pitching, and I pitched this summer, obviously. And, uh, you know, I feel like I put in a lot of hard work to be able to have a great season. You know, I... I like to say I'm a big competitor. Um, you know, I like to say I'm a hard worker. Uh, whether I am or not, I guess that's for other people to judge. But, uh, you know, I guess you know, I'm just a huge competitor. Everything I do, I think, is kind of a competition. And uh, I put a lot of work into what I do. So I, I, I think that success is not uh, is not uh, by, by accident. I think success is based off of how, how much work you put into it. Yeah, just because uh, you know I've I've been to two regionals and uh, um, you know I've been on two uh, I've been I mean I'm, this is my fourth year of college so I, I've been there before uh, you know um, obviously we look up to guys like Brennan Stewart who have, who've been at Texas Tech for a long time and uh, you know even I look up to him a little bit he's a good friend of mine uh, but uh, you know I, I feel like I can still help out uh, help out a lot of the younger guys who haven't even been in college before I feel like I could still help out and be a, a leader. You know, summer ball is great. I think uh, I think um, uh, it's it's just it's just a good experience to mature and go out of you know go get out of your comfort zone and, and play in a in a town that you've never been play you know get away from home I guess and play ball out there. So you know, I had a great time. I had a couple of good seasons, and uh, I think it really helped me to mature and, and uh, build on my uh, uh, my experience as a baseball player. You know, it was, I guess it was, it was pretty cool. A lot of people still talk about it. Uh, you know, it, obviously it was the first time I've ever gotten nine innings. So, I mean, that was a great experience. And just to be part of uh, uh, part of the Madison Mallers history, I think, was, was really cool. Um, you know, I'm not really sure how else to explain it, except, uh, you know, uh, it was just, just a really good time, I suppose. Uh, That's going to be hard because I could list probably everyone. I think everyone's done a great job. Uh, as, as far as a couple of guys, I'd have to say uh, the Redding out there in right field, that freshman. I think he's really uh, he's really uh, uh, helped himself out as far as um, where he's going to stand in the spring. I, you know, just for a freshman to come in and do something like that, what, what he's done, his numbers he's put up is pretty impressive. And then I think all around, if you go all around the field, I think everyone else has done has done great um, offensively too. You know, even you know Kevin Whitehead, uh, uh, I. I he ha he's had a great fall. Um, you know, obviously the guys that had great years last year, Barrett Barnes and uh, Reed Rebman, those those guys are having good falls, and they're going to be great for us in the spring. And, uh, you know, even guys that weren't here in the spring but uh, are, are, are older guys that we'll look up to, you know, like Scott Lejeune, I think uh, I think he's going to have a good spring. I think he's done well. As far as the pitching staff, uh, yeah, I think it's been pretty solid all around. I'm impressed with Shane Broyles. I saw him in, uh, this summer. I pitched against him a couple times, actually, and so – uh, I think he's going to do uh, very well for us, and uh, you know, just the guys that have been um, solid for us in the pen, like John Neely and Aaron Corwin, I think are going to be. Uh, uh, they've had great falls, and I think they're going to be good for us again in the, in the spring. You know, he's he's a uh, he's a. Uh, I guess you could say he's kind of a bulldog. He. Uh, he, he really he really pushes guys and uh, you know I, I like that um, he doesn't he doesn't go overboard he doesn't go psycho on you but uh, he really uh, he loves the tough guys and uh, I think that's what you need in order to um, get to a, to to the tournament and get to the college world series you need tough guys and uh, I think coach Spencer is uh, the perfect guy to uh, lead us that way You know, obviously, I've seen the Big 12 one year just sitting back in the stands all spring, and I really couldn't. Uh, um, you know, I think the Big 12 is pretty similar to the Pac-10, and the Pac-10 is pretty pitching heavy. But uh, you know, uh, obviously, last year was a lot different with the new metal bats and everything. But um, you know, it's really the same level of baseball, and I've seen it before. And uh, you know, I, I'm really excited for it because it's a great brand, great brand of baseball, and there's a lot of good players in this uh, in this conference, and I'm really excited. Rusty Shellhorn, he's a he's a key member. He's left-handed. Um, we've been waiting a long time to see him pitch in a game. You know, he had to sit out with his transfer. So uh, he's a veteran guy. He, he's um, he's logged. A, he's had great summers. Um, uh, we're looking for him to be a 
big contributor at the front of the game for us. I mean, right now, if we open up today, he's one of our four starters. And, uh, you know, how they pitch, then we get down to three, you know, once we start that deal in the spring. So very excited about Rusty. Um, he brings a lot of intensity. He brings a big makeup. Uh, he's got good stuff, uh, and he's left-handed. So we're, we're anxious to get him out there. Well, he's, he's really a work hard guy and um, he's really organized with his own life. Uh, he's a quiet kid, but he, he really takes care of his business and guys gravitate toward him. And I think he had some more time last year because he wasn't in the middle of competing um, to, he had to do a lot of work by himself. And I think, uh, you know, people saw that. We couldn't spend a ton of time with him uh, just because he wasn't pitching on the force in the spring. So we had to spend time with the guys who were playing. Um, and he really did a good job of managing his time and, and continuing to get better.